So let's talk about the VMware version or the virtual version of the Safeguard 2.8 that was just released. We currently have it available for the uh, hypervisor based on VMware. The Hyper-V that is from Microsoft solution is not available currently, but it is in production and beta testing and it will be available in one of the next few releases. So how to get access to that software? This is pretty much the same way as usual. So you just simply point your browser to the One Identity support site. And if you just go to the product page of uh, Safeguard for the privilege password management, then you simply can download uh, the VMware and it's located usually where all the other ones are, are located in the download section on that product page. And once you have done this, you simply deploy this version to your hypervisor, as, well, as I'm going to show you now. So I just simply log into my hypervisor and you see that I have already deployed this machine, but this is pretty straightforward approach. Usually you just go for create, register a virtual machine, standard stuff. And in this case, you just deploy the virtual machine from an OVA file. And this OVA file is the same one you just downloaded from the support portal. And then you click to the usual options you have to, to type into the various forms that are displayed, like a name, you have to select the data, and so on and so on. And once you have done this, you're going to see it lined up in your, or in your list of your virtual machines on your server. And I'm going to start one of the virtual machines I already have downloaded before. So I just simply click here and then power it on. And you're going to see that the hypervisor is starting. And here it is. And the first thing you're going to notice is that we have a new web interface on the, on the VM that's a little bit different to the 2.7 interface you may have seen in the pre-configuration screen of the hardware appliance, but the 2.8 will put the same screen on the hardware appliance as well. So, simply very easy, there's a button called Begin Initial Setup. Just click on that button and you simply log in with the standard username, admin and the standard password as mentioned in the setup guide and the documentation. And now the initial setup starts and it guides you through the various steps. So just give it a name. And the new thing on this is in contrast to the hardware appliance, you need a license key for the operating system because it's a license thing on how this machine is licensed and you need to provide even your own key or buy it from Quest or One Identity. Or you can use a real key you have, or you can use a KMS server. I will use a KMS server Oops, and provide some kind of NTP server and put the network address on top. Give the gateway information as usual. Give some DNS servers. Now the configuration runs in the background, so it goes through the various steps. And you're going to see a couple of information screen now popping up, how the process is proceeding. And here we go. So starting with the network configuration. When the configuration is finished, Safeguard is rebooting as usual. And it now goes to the initialization of the system after the initial configuration. Okay, and finally it starts up and you should see the home screen similar like this. So it gives you the overview about the things you have configured and if, if your system is licensed or not. If you have any error messages in the screen, try again because you have failed. Maybe if you have answered some wrong configuration data or whatever, but without the success of this initial configuration, the system will not work. 